Hello, my pretties. ThePrettyOracle.com is my website. It's where you're going to be able to find my products and services. If you're interested in knowing what people have to say about my products and services, you can go look on my community board. Um, this is an ancestral message. Your ancestors are wanting you to... Um, I just said something about basking in the ambiance of like just being able to be in a moment. You understand what I'm saying? Letting everything work together in harmony for you. Sometimes I feel like I feel like what they're saying sometimes is like sometimes you could be too ahead of the universe or behind the universe. They want you to work in perfect harmony with the universe right now. Just chill. Okay, that's what I've been getting. That's what I got in the last three, four the ancestral read. Somebody's name may start or end with a I start first or last, okay, with a T. Um, there's something here about for those of you who are creative, there's a creative light that is shining on you right now that you need to take heed of and take a note of. Um, they want, they want you to create with all your ideas that you have. They want you to use this time to create. So nobody shouldn't really be saying they bored. Um, let me, let me, let me remind y'all, right? Like, I just had to remind myself. I am a messenger, okay? I give you the message. Um, I also take the message for myself. And so, I be saying I'm bored sometimes. Why, why be bored when you got a whole bunch of shit to do? I remember I said to um, God, I don't even think I was talking to God, first of all. God was in my business. <laughs> Oh, I said, oh, I'm bored. And God was like, well, if you bored, you ain't doing something right. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. Because I could, I could, I could, where I'm sitting right now, I could reach my hand out and touch a, a list of shit. I'm a list taking individual. Okay. Um, and it ain't done. <laughs> It ain't done. You know what I'm saying? Ideas and some more shit. It, 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 it ain't done. So, um, anyway, that goes back to me saying I am a messenger, okay? Don't ever think that I'm sitting here talking at you, okay? I'm relaying the message. Um, that message was for me as well, okay? Show me. Ten of Pentacles. There's something here that you're working on that's going to give you the Ten of Pentacles. Or there's something here where this Ten of Pentacles is already um, in the spirit world waiting for you to claim it or waiting for divine events to unfold in order for it to manifest in your physical. Show me. Somebody here. Oh, um, that's nice. They showing me like there's a person here that create clothing from like not I don't want to say scraps because I don't want to you know I don't want to offend nobody. Um, although people always find a way to be offended regardless, but um, I've seen somebody put together. It looks like patchwork patchwork clothing, but not really though. It's like different um fabrics put together to make like a long jacket or whatever the case is and from what i'm seeing this is this is beautiful like there's different somebody works very well with fabrics and being able to put together what uh, okay it could be upcycled like say for example like for, for, for who i'm speaking about right now this could be like you could have learned to do this by like Putting together a bunch of stuff in your closet that you deemed like, you know, stuff that you got to wear, but you don't really wear it and put it together and make something. You understand what I'm saying? This is what I'm seeing. Um, I feel like whoever you are, you may have a dog or some sort of pet or something like that. And you may be looking forward into the future where you actually have, you could have two dogs, but you could, you, you may be looking forward in the future to when you would have an actual child and 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 a lover or whatever i feel like you think you old <laughs> same <laughs> oh my god 
the other day I was um I was invited to like somebody's uh party or whatever celebration or whatever and um they was turning a milestone age they are turning a milestone age and the crazy shit is I literally put my hand up like this like at the age <laughs> so I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, you know you may feel like that let me tell you something it's beautiful when you know you feel like you could be pushed further or you could be doing more you know what I mean at a certain age or you know it, it's 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 beautiful because it, it, it feels very high vibrational the way that you know, you're feeling in terms of where you should be and where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? But um, age and time is earthly shit, okay? Um, and that's what I was reminded of when, when I was thinking about age creeping up on my ass, okay? Um, and I certainly don't look my age <laughs> at all. Okay, so you're beautiful, you're right on time, okay, um, is what I want to let you know. Yeah, with the two of pentacles, like, you sitting here, like, stressed out about it or what the, like, come on, like, and, and see, that's what came up in the last three, and it's just like, you know, you're being called to really, like, calm down, calm down, you're in harmony, you're in harmony with what's supposed to be going on right now, please stay that way, like, yeah, like, especially, look at this, look at this, the, um, the Knight of Wands, like they saying, like you, it's a fire under your ass, you know. But it need to be for the right reasons. Like, don't rush. Don't rush. And you may be saying, "How am I rushing? I'm such and such amount of years old. I should probably have this shit by now." And it's like, like I said, that don't matter. Okay. telling you what I was told and what I'm being told right now. Your script don't got to look like everybody else's script. It, it's, it's not. And so just because somebody has dot, 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 at, at, or had dot, dot, dot after a cer at a certain age, it, it means nothing to you. Who are who 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 has a specific destiny set out, laid and and laid out for you? Okay, so don't get you know don't get ahead of yourself. They're wanting you to create, like that's what that's what time it is right now. It's time to create. You're gonna create something that I feel like makes you happy. Yes, especially with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're gonna create something that makes you happy, that makes other people happy. I feel like that you're gonna be recognized for. I feel like if you're going to be uh putting your mental energy into anything, it needs to be overlooking your projects and stuff like that. Creating new ones, sorting out your business endeavors and stuff like that. It's just not... So some of y'all are waiting for a specific person to show up in your life. And you need to chill, okay? That's what came out in the last three. Um, you're waiting up for a specific person or even something specific to, to manifest. But I feel like right now it is um, time for creativity, okay? Some of you guys' um, skin may be glowing. Um, you may be feeling extra beautiful. Somebody just recently, like, dyed their hair or even washed and conditioned their hair. Your hair is beautiful, okay? Um, for those of you who are interested, I finally finished, okay, <laughs> um, the mask that I was working on um, for you guys. And I will be posting it for sale. This has to, it's going to come with a candle. And um, it was created out of the abundance of beauty spells that I had saw being done, okay? So look, at the bottom of the deck, we have this is a time of good fortune and abundance. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Yeah, with this earth magic at, at effortless at the bottom of the deck, this is what I was talking about um, in reference to... Um, divine creative energy flowing through you and, and to you and you needing to um make a 
strong effort and be vigilant, okay, about focusing and getting things done. You may be in the energy of solitude, but that's because you're supposed to be submerged in your work. Some of y'all are going to find yourself speaking different, acting different, looking different. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. One thing about a spiritual journey that I realized is that I look different a lot to myself. And I don't know if you guys, you know, have noticed that. But those of y'all, you know, you know. Like, my looks will change. Like, it's days where I look just like my mother. There's other days where I will see my father. There's other days where I'll look just like my grandmother. There's days where, I, where I'll... um have a look of my own and it's not related to anybody or I will be like looking and, and and my mannerisms will be that of my grandfather and stuff like that and I spoke to you guys about that before for those of y'all who know what I'm talking about like you know okay sometimes we will and I mentioned this before look like or shape shift with the shape shift the energy under here into whatever energies are present around us that are helping us get a certain um, goal done, completed, okay? Whatever spirit guide is at the forefront. So some of you guys could be noticing your looks changing, hair growing at a rapid rate or feeling different y'all you know what's crazy that's another thing my nails ain't has not have not ever been this short um and i've never had red nail polish before in my life i don't think i've ever I, i've never had red nail polish before in my life um it's a story behind why with that too but um it was because i was i was never allowed to i i said something is changing with me like I, 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 I want my nails to be shorter. It's things that I have to do. You know, I feel like this. And I, and I realize like, wow, that's, that's not me. Okay? So you could be experiencing things that are not you. Different things. This is magic flowing through you. This is, you know, this is the energy of shape shifting. Y'all, it's, it's a time and a place for everything. You know, in, the, in time and places and, and, and energy will shift a lot on your journey, okay? And you're being called to work in harmony with this energy, all right? Let it flow through you and act on the things that you're feeling. Somebody drink a lot of water because that's another thing. Um, you'll see in my deck that I uh, created for you guys, um, this one that you can find in the description box. Um, I say drink water, downloads are coming. It's very imperative that you hydrate yourself in order for, uh, because water is a conduit, right? Okay. Um, it's very imperative that you hydrate yourself for these energies to work through you, um, for you to receive downloads. Um, even your dream state, a lot of things can be rectified in your dream state if you're having issues with dreams by hydrating yourself if you feel like you drink a lot of water and you're and, and you still can't get hydrated take your hydrated take your water with um celtic sea salt go look it up first okay tell me So, we have <clears throat> indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. I told y'all, you're needing to be artistic at this time. There's a reason why. It is time to create... Um, Sometimes, like even Alice in Wonderland, right? Um, I think that guy who made that say he was like, well, this is not a good example, actually. 
Okay. Forget it. Um, create, okay? And allow this creative energy to flow through you. And sometimes, like, you might do something and you might not even, like, you might take a step back from your art after it's completed and, then, like, not even remember how your art has taken that shape or form and how great this came out. And it's because you're channeling. Put it like that. A lot of things, movies, cartoons, works of art were that are held in high regards, okay, were done by people who were channeling at the time. Somebody may write a song or make a beat and, and it's just like, how the hell? Like, you might step back like, you know, you might be getting interviewed about this piece one day. Like, oh, what made you come up with this? And you really could be sitting there thinking like, shit, I don't know. I sat there and concentrated and this is what came through. Channeling, okay? Yes, so they want you to invest with the Page of Pentacles. They want you to really invest and hold, you know, this energy, hone in on it and create through it, okay? Um, for some of y'all, you have animal guides. Um, and it's been coming up a lot lately. Pay attention to the colors that you're using and the verbiage that you may be using when you create, okay, whatever it is that you're creating. Um, you may be able to relate it to something that walks with you, someone or something, some sort of being that walks with you, okay? So we have let, let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in this situation. Some of you guys will notice that um, holding a grudge against individuals. Yeah, you could be having thoughts about, mm, I don't like what I just heard. I'm not going to repeat it, but, um, I'll just say sometimes I'm getting that some, somebody thinks that sometimes it would be better if they just weren't around. Again, I understand. Um, and what I have to say about that is that sometimes when you're receiving a lot of resistance or being ganged up on or stuff like that or whatever the case is, it's because of your greatness and not because you ain't shit, okay? And, and I, I would encourage you to look at it that way. Some of you guys are blocking your creative self or, you know, um, blocking your creativity by holding on to grudges. Like I'm hearing them saying something like, oh, we want to flow through your heart chakra, but... Like, they, they're giving me the energy of, like, clenched butt cheeks, but, like, heart chakra energy, like, but you, but you, but you, your chest so tight, how, how are we supposed to get through? We want to send you messages and creative energy, we want you to create the things, you know, create these things, and we're giving you ideas and stuff like that, but how can we do that if you mad all the time, or if you, you know... If your heart chakra is going through some shit and you need to, you know, heal it and stuff like that for it to be, um, for it to operate as a divine channel as it should, okay? There's victory, um, associated with you forgiving people. Like, I don't even think that you realize it. It's victory, um, it, it, it bigs you up. Okay. It, um, helps you to grow. They're giving me like the hierophant energy where it's like, you know, a lot of, it takes strength to forgive people, especially people that don't give you an apology, um, or that are not sorry, but it is for your benefit. And they're giving me, like I said, a hierophant energy where it's like, you will grow so much from that situation. There is um, 
reward in taking the high road, y'all. It took me a long time to learn that, but there is reward and merit for taking the high road. Somebody African. Leopard. 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 There's something coming. There's something that you don't see coming when you forgive and when and when and when you're you know uh, healed. It like literally brings in something. This is like an, a reward. Yeah, with the Ace of Wands, it literally brings in something. Stability. Sometimes, you know, your spirit guides will tell you something and um, you don't understand it right then and there, but it will become clear to you afterwards. They are way smarter than us, okay? And where you could make reason or make sense out of something, you know, they're light years ahead, put it like that. So just do it, okay? You guys need to stay you guys need to stay um I'm sorry y'all they telling me something about Something about somebody putting somebody in a jaw or some shit like that. They want you guys to listen to them, okay? Listen to your ideas. Even if you're not sure, if you're at a point in your spiritual journey where you're not sure if it's them talking to you, it's like, if it just, it, sometimes it will pop into your mind as a creative idea. You're not knowing that it's coming from, you know, where it's coming from, but they want you to follow your creative ideas. There's, there's, there's reward there, okay? They, they're literally trying to lead you to the water, okay? The Ace of Cups. Yeah, they want you to definitely act on it. Show me the pages for it. Show me the pages for it. Show me the pages for it. Some of y'all tired of waiting on your emperor that came out in the last three. And your, some of y'all tired of waiting on your empress and your emperor. And you're thinking because they haven't shown up yet that that that's an issue. For, that there's an issue that if if it's like it's not, they're not coming or something. There's also show me the emperor. There's also somebody watching you here. Fuck them. I ain't even gonna talk about it. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make it to this emperor, and I and I told y'all that in the last ancestral read. I was about to say ancestral read. Yeah, y'all are stressed about this situation. Listen. And, I, and like I said in that read, you could be stressed about the situation because you because you know a lot of people trying to stop you from it. You know that's that's a thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so you could be feeling like, did they actually fuck this up for me? No, they did not. Okay? They did not. And that is mentioned time and time again during the reads. But I feel like there's somebody here that's still stressed out about it. And it's just like, you're supposed to be creating right now. Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. I'm going to put 
appreciative. Show me the gorilla. Take the time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially your family members. You have the Four of Cups and the High Priestess. They're literally speaking about your ancestral guidance that you're receiving, okay? It literally, like some of y'all with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles would rather cry. Some of y'all would rather cry about your situation than to... um than to invest in what the ideas that you're getting. So like I said earlier, like you may just be thinking that they're ideas because you can't ascertain like what's coming from, you know, an other worldly, worldly source or the spirit world rather than what's just coming to your brain. I, I, you, you feel like it's your thoughts. These are thoughts that are being divinely put in your head. Okay. Um, another thing, that I see, like, sometimes people will come to me with problems and I will ask them, like, did you try the thing that I told you to do from last time? Did you try the thing that I told you to do from before that? Um, you're being called to exhaust your options like for example you could be watching a lot of tarot readings that's telling you things but you also you know have suggestions how to fix these things or go about these things whether it be from you know the actual source that's giving you the message or from your intuition this feels like definitely from your intuition okay and instead of taking the opportunity to use whatever information you have to treat whatever or proactively, okay? You would rather sulk. Like, for example, um, you know, oh, somebody's doing this. I don't feel that. Da, da, da. Did you take a spiritual bath? Did you? No, I was going to, but, oh, well, okay. I keep feeling this thing in my house. Did you cleanse your house? Did you do a house cleanse? No, I, oh, uh, okay. Um, you know, oh, um, I don't have any money or whatever the case is. Did you, um, use the idea that you had in your head about, um, what you were going to create so people could buy it from you? No. Oh. Oh, okay. That's what this feel like, okay? Take some of your usual time. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. This is about meditation, too. There's a lot of information that's going to be coming through in meditation. Yeah, you see this energy of judgment? Yeah. This is like, you know, quieting the world around you and coming up with it and listening. Like, you need to listen to the energies around you. Listen. And it requires you to be quiet. And it requires you to spend time in solitude. Uh, meditation is like when you, when you stop your brain. Not stop it because... Quiet your mind so you can listen to what's to what's being said or, you know, the images that you get, okay? This is saying, like, this is, like, spiritual, like, meditating, but then this is also, like, being in hermit mode, okay? Because, and when you're in hermit, hermit mode, you're not just sitting there depressed. You're creating. You're going off the things that you feel called to, what you feel pulled to. Even if you're a writer and you're being called to paint, do it, okay? There's a journey here. There's little tidbits that you'll pick up along the way. You don't know what this painting is going to come out to be 
who it will grab the attention of. Maybe y'all will have a conversation and, and, and they'll say they're looking for a songwriter. You, you never know, but it's like you have to take the journey, okay? And it'll put you where you need to be. You don't need to know about it beforehand. You just need to follow the direction, okay? As it's being given to you. Sometimes people, you know, feel away because they can't see what's at the end of the road. And that's what I was saying earlier about trying to make sense of what your ancestors is telling you. And it's like, you know, they're smarter than you. So why argue with them or why not listen? They smarter than you. So because you can't make sense of them making you wait for a specific thing or because you can't make sense of them telling you to paint when you're when you're a songwriter you know uh, or because you can't make sense of why they telling you not to talk to or be around a certain individual or why they or why they telling you to be in hermit mode that means you don't do it they smarter than us they see things we cannot see okay and you know you trust them, right? Okay, so let me pull one card from here. Okay, this one is to come out. Barefoot. Walk barefoot. Take off your shoes and feel the ground inside or outside. This was right at the top and it was like, as soon as I grabbed it, it kind of flipped over. For full benefit, walk on a natural surface like grass or imagine walking barefoot on a warm beach. Connecting your body with the ground charges your body with the earth's energy and its natural good vibration. <coughs> yeah, and I feel like this will, grounding yourself will even connect you with the information that you're needing to receive. And then also in the last read, it was kind of like you feeling volatile or temperamental because of the things that you have been through. Okay, you guys? Again, I don't know why I had to or why I felt the need to reference how, um, you know, that I'm a messenger, okay? A lot of these messages I can take and use for myself. So, um, I go through a lot of, a lot, you know, a lot of these emotions as well. But I am also tapped into these solutions, <laughs> okay? And it's up to you to apply them, all right? I hope that helped.